Okay, this is Mrs. Kuiper, and I am going to be going through uh, the rest of the um, math lesson 1.1, the walkthrough. So yesterday we walked through about half of uh, math lesson 1.1, and today I'm going to show you how to click through the rest of the lesson. And so let me get my screen share here, and um, I will um, click here, okay. So um, what students see when you come to this page is a little different than what teachers see. Um, you have your Class Connect sessions on top, and then on the bottom, you have your lessons, okay? So um, you're gonna be seeing your Class Connect sessions up here, and then your lessons are down below. I've been explaining it wrong. You, what you guys see is different. So you need to go into fifth grade Summit Math or Summit five math and you're going to click in that and when you click into your summit five math i get mine up here so if i click into my math five summit um it should bring you into the first lesson and here is the first lesson and yesterday i actually read through this with you now just because i did it with you yesterday on the video doesn't mean that you don't have to go through it you still need to go to the Math 5 Summit and actually click through Lesson 1.1, okay? So, but I'm going to fast forward here. Remember, we talked about how you have to do things in order in math, and we did some definitions. And then we watched a little video about the guy who thought he lost his, somebody stole his money, but really he just spent it all. He just did his math wrong, okay? And then we did an example. And of course, in the example, if you get it correct, it'll say you can check your answer. If you don't get it correct, so let's say I did this and it's the wrong answer. Here's what's going to happen. It's going to say you may have added 14 to 6 before multiplying 23. Try to evaluate this expression. Follow the order of operations. First, multiply 6 by 23 and then add 14 to the result. Check your work again and try again. Okay, so it wants you to try again. So if then if I get it right and I check it, all of a sudden it says correct. Okay. So remember, our order of operations is you're going to do multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction in order from left to right. Okay, so then we would um, move on to the next thing. So then we talked about expression. An expression in math means basically a math problem. Okay, so these are all math expressions. When you see this and there's a blue tab here, you have to tab through it. So it's going to give you examples of an expression. And you can read this. Um, six over three means the same thing as six divided by three. Okay, it's just another way to write it. Okay, um, however you write it though, six divided by three is always going to equal the same result. So they're saying to evaluate an expression is to find its value. Um, the order of operations gives you the order in which operations should always be performed. First, you're going to use grouping symbols. Um, so you're going to solve the problems that are in brackets, braces, and parentheses first. Then you're going to do multiplication and division from left to right, and then addition and subtraction from left to right. Okay. So then the next thing you would do is click this arrow up here. And now you would click play and you'd watch the video and they're going to go over the order of operations with you again. Okay. I'm not going to click through that because this is a quick video. And then you would click next and here it gives you an example of um, what is the value of this expression? It wants you to practice it. So this would be 12 divided by 3 is 4. So then we have 4 plus 7 minus 3. Remember, well, I did it wrong. We're supposed to do 7 minus 3 first. 7 minus 3 is 4. So then we have 12 over 3 plus 4 times 9. So then we have to do the division and the multiplication first. Mm -hmm. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. And then the multiplication, we had 4 here, times 9 would be 36. And then it comes down to 4 plus 36 is 40. So the value of the expression is 40. So they did the parentheses first, then they did the division, then they did the multiplication, and then they did the last addition. Okay, so that's the order that you do, the order of operations. And then how well do you understand the order of operations? Try these problems to find out. So it's going to give you one problem in each of these. So you click on each one and you do the problem. Okay. And you're going to give the answer and then you can go back and you can click on this one and you're going to click on the answer. Okay. I'm just going to click on one and see what happens. Sorry, 14 is not correct. Okay. So you can actually click play here and they'll walk you through 
how to do it correct, play the audio to find out why 14 is incorrect. When you have finished, we'll explore another example. So then you click explore, it's gonna give you another problem for you to practice. That's kind of cool, huh? So it's gonna um, actually help you work through those problems and tell you what you're doing wrong. So when you're done with those and you've gotten one correct in each of those um, options, then you're gonna click the plus, the, the go forward arrow. Here's a couple more, okay? questions that you need to evaluate and answer the question here. And um, so now it's going to go on to another section of this lesson. It's going to talk about shortcuts and some properties. Okay, so then you would, it's going to talk about the associative property. You need to read this or have it read it for you. Up here, you click on read and it'll read it. Okay, and you're going to click through these slides. And then they're going to talk about the commutative property. I always have problems saying commutative. Um, Oh, and then it's gonna go through, does it do distributive? Distributive property as well, okay? Once you get through all 10, and you can't just click through like that, guys. You need to actually read it. I'm clicking through because I already know what those are, okay? So, um, and then it's gonna give you some, some check and connect. It wants you to answer the questions and um, see if they're correct or not. So you finish those. Um, it's going to give you some more problems to practice. Remember I said the reason we don't do the offline in, in one of the first videos was because you're just going to be doing so many problems online that you, you really don't need to do the offline problems, okay? So you're going to go through and you're going to click on each one of these slides and answer all of the questions, okay? You do not have to do the offline practice. You can if you want, but don't feel like you need to do it, okay? And so then when you're all done, it's going to say, you've reached the end of the lesson and you are done with lesson 1.1, okay? And that's, you're gonna answer all those questions and work through work through the Summit 5 um, uh, math 1.1. And then if you're ready to move on to 1.2, you can ask the learning coach to log in for you and it will, um, that will allow you to move on to lesson 1.2. I, ha I have unlocked lesson 1.2, but I think the learning coach has to check that you finished lesson 1.1, okay? So um, that's pretty much how that lesson goes. And I'm gonna stop my share. Um, the only other thing we did in the lesson today is I went out onto YouTube and I found an order of operations music video. It's a little song um, and it was about one and a minute long and some of the kids hated it, some of the kids liked it. Um, there are hundreds of order of operations videos out there that you could, you could watch. I just typed in order of operations songs um, and um, I picked the shortest one, the one that had kind of the coolest background, I think. And so that's the one we watched. And um, you can go out and search for your own and find one that you like. Maybe if music helps you, maybe that will help you out. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm going to stop recording. And that is it for the rest of the walkthrough of Lesson 1.1. Now you need to go out and complete Lesson 1.1 in Math Summit 5.